All right, gang. Welcome back to our Gator Challenge Under the Lands. It is now June, and uh, we've got a number of things to do today. But it should be a relatively light day for the most part. We don't have a ton of money, um, so we're not really going to be able to buy another plot of land more than likely. But we have purchased one in the meantime. You may have noticed it already. We purchased this grass field over here. I did a little bit of work here and made a little bit of an entryway that connects to our little pat our little road here. Uh, it's a very, very flat plot of land. Now, it has grass in it now. It's ready to harvest, uh, so we should get some good money out of this. So we will mow it, and uh, we'll probably fertilize it as well so we can get some more grass uh, growing there. But my idea simply is part of this land will be taken up by some other productions that need some flat land, right? We don't have a whole lot of flat land. That is one plot of land that is super flat that we can utilize. I don't necessarily know if I want to utilize the entire thing uh, and remove all of the grass, because that's a good moneymaker for us, but if we can use some of it, that will definitely help us uh, in, our, in our path here to trying to continue to make more money. We do have three things of premium potatoes, and we have two pig food boxes as well. And I've also made one other purchase. You can probably see it now. You corrected me correctly in the comments. I think it was in the last episode. It might have been before that, actually. I bought a fork. And the exact same area of that fork that I bought was this. This is nice. This will actually allow the forks to go even lower than the one I was utilizing. This lets it go all the way pretty much down to the bottom. And if I unfold that... I mean, that's laying on the ground right there. Yeah, granted, we're on we're on a hill. But I can move this up and down, too. The big problem, I think, with this one is we might still only be able to get one uh, pallet. Um, because it's heavy, right? We do have a weight on this skater. We don't have one on the other one, so we probably should fit one to the other one, if it's possible. Um, the other one I bought was slightly cheaper because it doesn't have the ability to do these six wheels here. But this should, theory, quotes, air quotes, should allow us to be able to pick up some of these without any major issues. As long as we can get it. Well, maybe we can't. It might still be an issue here, actually. Yeah, it looks like it's still going to be an issue. Let's try it from the other angle. I think it might just be the, the land specifically that we're on there, right? It's not as flat as you would like it to be, so some more work I need to do there to try to flatten that out and make it a little bit better for us. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to push these, I think, and then probably... There we go. There we go. Yep. So if I push them a little bit, then I can get all six wheels up there on that platform where it's completely flat. Uh, and we can utilize it that way. So let's go sell this one, and then let's see if we can pick up two at a time. You can see we can easily pick up one. No problem. Um, but I think two, it might be pushing it a little bit. Certainly three is definitely not going to work. Um, but let's let's give a shot on two. I have not tested this at all. So, uh... I just figured, you know, it's a fork, and I, I tested out making the fork go down to the bottom and it, and on the ground, and it worked. And so I was like, alright, well, this will work then. But I didn't really test picking anything up. Alright, so it, it does work. It's a little wobbly. Not really on the ground. But if I lower it a little bit more, I think I will be. It's not going to be perfect. I mean, this is going to be big, massive corners here. Because I'm not really on the ground, but I'm close. There we go. There we go. Okay, I don't need to be that. I don't need that camera view. It won't let me go any further, so I guess I'm going to have to hold that for now. We'll have to go into first person here for now. But this is going to make us good money. See, 15 grand. So that's nice. That's nice. So we'll have another 15-ish grand. What? Well, not 15-ish grand. Another 5 grand. I said 15. We're at 15 grand, and we got 5 grand from that. So we'll have another 5 grand coming in here uh, from this as well. So again, not definitely going to be able to buy a plot of land. We do have soybeans, which are ready next month. Well, I say ready. They're the best time to sell next month. Looks like this is much better if I just go backwards. If I go in reverse. Well, no, we're not. We're still in the air. But we can make it work. 
Um, but we do have soybeans that uh, will be ready to sell. Um, yeah, 5,330 again. Uh, our soybeans, we have 5,662 liters, which actually is a lot, uh, but they're best to sell in July. It's currently June, like I mentioned. Uh, the highest right now is 6233 that's going up. We can keep an eye on it. Maybe if it gets really good today, then maybe we will buy one, but uh, I don't think we necessarily need to. So today, we have to fertilize our big field here a second time. Second application of fertilizer. Whoa. That didn't work out as much as I wanted to. And uh, we also need to drill the little tiny field way over there that we harvested in the last episode. Other than that, I think that's the only other things to do today. So we probably will mow this field, the new field we got, the grass field. Uh, but I think other than that, that's the only thing we have to do. Yeah, 17 is good. 4 is good. So we got we to gotta drill 15. Spray, or spray, fertilize field 4 here. And then we're going to mow field 5. That's our objectives today. So... Let's get the fertilizer. Uh, I need to unload this first of all. What we'll probably end up doing as well is maybe moving our cell point from where it is over to the flatland eventually, potentially. I don't know for sure if that's what we'll do or not, but potentially. Especially now that, uh, well, by the time this episode comes out, at least it should be. Hopefully I don't spoil it, but if I did, well, you got a spoiler. Um, it should be the little market stall that I have in the Tuna Horsepower Challenge should be gone, and I should have my new idea implemented by now, uh, which means we could utilize it in this series. Now, this series, I don't think, well, I say that, but I don't think it'll have a whole lot more, uh, well, a ton more episodes to it. It probably has another five to ten, I would think, and then we're probably, I don't think I'm going far enough over it probably has five to ten more episodes from the time of this recording. And then we'll probably be, uh, you know, done or, or close to being done with this series, right? We'll have the loan paid off. We only have just over 100000 of the loan left. Um, we'll have a lot more land than we probably do now. It'll be a good yielding land. We'll be making a lot of money, a lot of income. So, um, yeah, well, we'll see, I guess, but... I don't really know where I was going with that. <laughs> I forget where I was going with that. But um, it, it, I guess what I'm trying to get at is we we will eventually be moving on to another series. So we don't really necessarily need to spend a whole lot more money on a bunch of different fields. Because we're going to make our goal of paying off the loan and having a successful farm much quicker than I had originally anticipated. I guess that's what I'm trying to get at, right? So we might buy one more, maybe two more plots of land, but realistically, by the time we harvest all the fields we currently have, when we're done mowing them, drilling them, all that stuff, and, and when we got to sell all that, we probably are going to be uh, at a point where we've got enough money to pay everything off. Pay the loan off, have a successful farm with the gator, so we're, we're, we're probably halfway through, I would say, at this point. If not, further. Further along. Now, as far as the, the series to take over this one, whenever that comes time, I don't know why I'm talking about it. It's so far away still. I don't know why I'm talking about it. It's, you're, you're still talking about two months away, Z. I don't know what you're talking about. But anyway, um, the series that I plan to do after this is probably going to be either on... It's probably going to be on No Man's Land, honestly. It'll probably be a No Man's Land challenge. Um, it might be a start from zero challenge uh, with nothing. I'm doing a zero, a broke to billionaire challenge, but this might be one where you actually start with absolutely nothing at all. I don't know yet. Haven't fully decided. Or it might be another challenge. Um, there are a lot of different challenges out there that individuals have made, and I, I kind of want to start doing some of those challenges. But, uh, you know, that's just going to depend on timing and where we're at and where my head is at as far as my ideas go. I'm just kind of rambling today, gang, so just bear with me as I ramble to you about what thoughts are in my brain. So I think what I'm going to do here is there's probably not enough fertilizer in here. There might be. I'm going to put it on a worker. Have the worker do the rest of that. We'll jump into here and we're going to get uh, our drill and we're going to head over to the small field and drill it. 
Now, as far as what I want to put in there, I don't know at current. Um, I guess we need to take a peek at the growing stages here and see what would be best to put in there. Uh, this field might be ready to mow, too. I don't know. It's grass, so who knows? I have to go over there and drive over there and take a look at, take a look at it. Excuse me. Um, where am I going here? Here we go. Uh, so June. What's that? One, two, three, four, five. So December-ish for six months. Unless we're doing, like, sorghum, right? Which I guess we are. We could do sorghum. Sorghum looks like it'd be pretty good. Let's do sorghum. We'll do sorghum. But we're going to need seed and fertilizer to do this, as you can see. So, uh, we're going to head up to the shop there. I think I have one one bag, maybe? Of, of fertilizer there. I think it's fertilizer. Um... So we'll pick that up and then probably buy another two, a bag of fertilizer and a bag of seed. Uh, now that we have that fork that we can lift up and stuff off the ground... Oh, this is going to be great. That's fun. Oh, the city's going to have my ass again. But now that we have that fork, we can go ahead and pick it up. Yeah, it's not ready yet. One more, maybe two more months, and it'll be at the max... The, well, the max, the highest stage. Ideally, we really need to get a different drill, too. This drill is great, it's cheap, inexpensive, but it's really having a hard time going down the roads here, because these roads are not very big. They really aren't. Um, so it's very difficult for me to get it, get it down the roads without running into stuff. Alright, there's that. We'll buy a seed. Perfect. And we can bring the IBC bag as well, now that we have that. So we'll probably make a few trips doing that potentially today as well. See how see how it works at least. It may be too heavy. We do have a weight on the other one, not on this one, like I mentioned. Um, so for anything with that, until we're able to upgrade this one, we'll have to utilize the other gator. Our, our main gator, our first gator, our starting gator, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to spray this field. Um, but this field will take no time at all to drill. It's a very small field in comparison to the other fields we have. So uh, we should get this done pretty quickly.
All right, that is the field pretty much done. There's one little tiny pass there that probably needs some herbicide, but we can save that for uh, the next episode. I don't, I don't think I really need to sprint my way back over there just to fill it, just to do that little tiny strip. It's really not going to cause that big of a difference anyway. So the worker here looks like he's, um, is he in the other field? Oh my gosh, he is in the other field. Oh my god. Oh, why? Why does this keep happening to me? What's the easiest way to get out of here without causing damage? No matter what we do, we're causing damage. Oh god. These damn workers. Why are they so more? Why are they such morons? Why would you keep going over there? Why? Well, there's some loss of uh, crop there, unfortunately. Damn it. Damn it! Alright, so... The final thing really to do today... Well, I say the final thing. It's not. We've got to get the, uh, the roller over to the other field. And we'll put a worker on doing that. You know I don't like rolling. Um, so a worker will do that for us. But we're going to mow that smaller field down there. We're going to turn all of that into silage. And, uh... Hopefully make some money off of it. And then when we're done with all of that, we will take a peek at the soybeans. Again, I think it's probably smarter to save that for the next episode. Um, but we might sell them because the next episode, it could be a while, gang. It, actually, it's not even could be. It, it probably will be a while. None of our fields are going to be ready next month. So, uh, it means we're going to have to skip a month or two, right? And uh, if we skip a month or two, then the soybeans are not going to be as high as they are now. So that might be the reason why we go ahead and just sell them today. But before we do all of that, we've got to complete the other jobs of rolling that field and mowing our new field and picking all of that up. Back over here in the field. I screwed up, gang. I should have just created a job for the worker to move the gator over to the the yard. And it probably would not have killed any more of that crop. Whoops. Should have thought of that before. Oh well. What are you going to do? So we'll go to here to the end. And then uh, I'm going to turn around and put it on a worker. I'm just going to keep the worker away from the trees if I can help it. Uh, because they won't do it anyway, so we're going to have to do it. They're going to stop, you know, before they hit a tree. So we might as well go ahead and just do it ourselves. Sorry, worker. Or sorry, worker. Sorry, neighbor. I'm going into your sunflowers. Right, so we'll realign this here, and we'll set it on a worker, and... We can go get ready to mow. Right, we need we need this back on. Get the mower. Go ahead and unfold it. Get it prepped. And we are mowing. I don't know how far over it'll let me mow here, but we're just going to kind of run around the edge as much as we can here and get as much grass as we possibly can because this is good money for us. It's looking like it's going to let us go all the way to the end here. All the way to the edge, I should say. Yeah, let's just go all the way to the edge. 
That's pretty good. Get to see some more of the area we really haven't looked at. There's some, we got the, we got the little river here that goes into that pond, or a little creek, I guess, that goes into that pond. These trees are really in the way here. Can't really see what I'm doing, and you can't see either. So it looks like I could potentially cut all of these trees, and we might do that. That's, that, I mean, trees are good money. Um, we'd have to all cut them by hand. I don't, well, I guess maybe I could look at it. I don't know if a winch, um... Okay, don't have access to that. Okay. I don't know if a winch uh, can be put onto the gator or not, and if the gator can even pull it. Probably can't. This is going to be pretty good, though. Uh, we probably should look to getting a wind rower. Um, I granted these are putting it in a nice little rows, but if we could, you know, well, maybe not. I guess maybe it doesn't really matter. I was going to say if we can make it, you know, the rows a little bit closer together and uh, have more in it, it would take less time. But I don't know if it really would. It'd probably take around the same amount of time, would it? Because you're still, you're, oh, uh oh, oh, uh oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. That thing just kept on going. It had a mind of its own. There was no brakes there. None. This is a uh, deceivingly bigger field than you think. This is going to make us a lot of money off of grass. Off the silage, I should say. So I don't really like putting in time lapses back to back here, gang, but, uh... I think we're going to. I think I'm also going to take a peek. Um, actually, can I put this on a worker? So if, if so, I can at least, before we do any, if, before I do any kind of a time lapse, I can at least look at um, the shop and see if there's any super cheap wind rowers out there. There's a potential that this would be faster if we did that. It might not be. I don't know. does work with a worker. Okay. Because it's actually a field, so evidently it works. Uh, do, do, do. There's some tractors out there. It would be nice, but we can't do that. Not on this series, at least. Uh, wind rowers. Where are you? There you are. Uh, there are some out here that could be used, utilized. Uh, that would, I think that one's almost a little bit too big. We need some, that's $19,000. I don't want to spend nineteen grand. Uh, yeah, this, this is the one I was more thinking of right here. So we could utilize that one, potentially. 6.5 meters is pretty daggone good. We could try to go for a smaller one, but they're more expensive than that one, so it's almost a no-brainer just to go with that one, right? Especially for this type of series. But is it really going to speed any, spin us any, well, spin us any. Is it really going to speed up the time for us, though, right? That's the question. I don't think it's going to. See, he can't go all the way to the end. That's what I was afraid of. Just got to do it ourselves. I, I just don't know if it would actually speed up the time. I don't think it would. It 
would just make us having to do trips back and forth much at a much faster clip is all it would really do. That's all it would achieve. No matter what, we're still going to make the same amount of trips. Hmm. Well, I guess it's something I got to think about some more. Let's get this done. Alright, that is the first uh, load of grass there loaded up, and uh, we've got a lot more to do here, but uh, we'll go ahead and drop this off, and then uh, we'll probably jump cut the rest of that grass. Uh, you guys have seen that plenty of times. There's there's no reason to do that a bunch of times over and over again. And the episode's pretty long already, so... Uh, but at least show you one of them, and how much we got in the first load, and, and kind of get an idea of how much we're going to get. Probably do a little guest work to see if you can figure it out. So let me go ahead and get the rest of this done, gang, and we'll be back with you guys when all of that is done. Alright, gang, the field is pretty much done. We've got a few little tiny scraps and, uh, about a one, one tenth of a path, of a little path that we didn't get, that we, uh, got full on and had to go drop off. You see we made a little bit of money, uh, a little bit of it did sell, but, uh, most of it is still there, yet to be sold. Um, so it should turn a decent profit for us. Uh, I don't know how much it'll be. I mentioned at the beginning of the episode we probably don't need another plot of land, but realistically, I think we do need one more plot of land. I kind of misspoke there. At least one more plot of land. Um, we probably could do it with the plots of land we have now, but it'd be a lot of, you know, jumping. And I don't really ideally like to do that, but whenever we have to, we have to, right? There's, if there's nothing to do, there's, there's no reason to do an episode with nothing to do. So, um, quick save here. I think the roller has been done for a while. I hope he is, at least. Uh, he missed a portion of it down there. We're going to have to touch that up. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Doesn't like it because of the road, I'm assuming, is what it was. So we'll touch that up real quick, and then literally we'll be done with the exception of waiting on the silage to settle, see how much we get, and then looking at the soybeans and seeing if it's time to... Well, seeing if we should sell the soybeans or not, right? If we have enough money to buy another plot of land, then we might as well wait to sell the soybeans in the next episode. But if we don't... If we don't have enough money to buy the plot of land, then we should sell the soybeans now. So we get the most money for a buck, right? We do need to fertilize the grass field as well. Um, 
Kind of forgot about that. I gotta do that, but that won't take very long at all. With the exception of having to go pick up fertilizer, because I'm pretty sure that was out of fertilizer. And that's the reason why it stopped where it was, in the middle of a another field, and caused this mayhem. This isn't going to be perfect. This is not going to be how you should do it. But, that's how we're going to do it for now. Now, I bet I could mow some of that grass right there between this... Back there, between this field and that field over there. I bet I can mow it. Which would give us a little bit more money, but... We might as well wait. I, I mean, I mean, I guess I could do it today, but... I mean... It probably won't let me mow the whole thing. It'd probably just be a small little chunk of it. Um... So I think we'll just wait, I guess. Alright, this field is fully done. Uh, let's get it back to the farm, and then uh, we'll get the fertilizer on there, and we'll take a look and see uh, about the soybeans. And uh, we'll probably see where we're at after we fertilize that grass field. It probably won't be noon yet, but I'm hoping it'll be pretty close. And uh, maybe we can speed up time and see what we get as far as selling all of the silage at that point. Whoa! We almost lost it. Alright, by the time we fill this up and probably fertilize the field, it's actually probably going to be pretty close to noon, I think, so... Um, we'll probably have a pretty good idea of, of what kind of money we're going to get from the silage. It is going to be probably the most silage we've ever put in there. Because uh, this field is not as big as the one we just mowed, so... Um, should be a lot. Let's put it that way. Might need another bag. Yep, we're going to need another bag. So that's another expense we gotta pay for. It's a little bit less money than what we uh, were intending to have, but we're gonna need it no matter what anyway. We're gonna utilize it at some point. So surprisingly, that draw bar that I talked about a number of episodes ago that Milk That Hen brought up, I, uh, I haven't used it as much as I thought. So the implements I was picking evidently were the wrong implements because I found other ones that were obviously better. Um, so I guess I should have done some more tests on that, but that's all hindsight at this point, right? At least we, uh, at least we're able to utilize some of the things that I wasn't expecting to be able to use. Really saved it. Saved the, the, the series from being, uh, very dull without a lot of different implements. I mean, I might as well move, I might as well fertilize this, right? So, soybeans, six two six three six three nine nine. It's pretty daggone close, gang. So when noon hits, we'll know how much we're getting from the silage. We'll know what we have to spend, and then we can probably do a little bit of some minor calculations with the soybeans and figure out if we can buy another plot of land. I think, actually, we're going to be able to. We've got 20. The silage, I would think, is going to make at least another 15,000 for us. I would, well, maybe, maybe a little less than that, maybe 12. But, I mean, that will put us over 30 grand. We got to be able to find another plot of land for 30 grand, right? It'd probably be a smaller plot again, like the, like this one here, or that little skinny field up there. It'd probably be like that. But we got to be able to get one for that price, right? I would think so. But what do I know? So obviously, there's not going to be any productions put down on this, uh, at least until we mow this again. I really don't want to waste all of this fertilizer on the field if we're going to just, uh, you know, put a placement down that won't allow us to mow it, right? So, um, it's got, well, it's got to be at least two episodes before we, we would put anything down on this area. Because um, we could mow it, well, we, well, I actually, I think you could mow it next episode, but, um, yeah, there's, there's... There's no reason to. Your, your yield will be so small that it, it's not even worth doing that. But the following episode, you definitely could mow it. Uh, still would be a, a smaller yield than you would like, but um, you could do it. Oh, 
Oh, I just got out of the car. <laughs> Instead of turning it off. Just decided to get out of the car. Or the, the, the gator. The car. So it should all be, be almost perfect timing here by the time we're done with this. Now I don't know if all this of all the grass will be turned into silage by then or not. I'd hope so. We get it in there with almost 30 minutes, about 25-ish minutes. Um so I would hope it so that it's a pretty fast um production there. But who knows, might not might need more time. There was one little tiny section up here I missed. I'm just going to do a little I'm going to call it a splash and dash even though it's not a liquid, but you get what I mean. All right, here it is. There it goes. Perfect. This field is done and ready to go. Now, I do want to get rid of some of these trees. I do. I think I'm going to in this field. I think almost all of those trees are going to come down. Um, it'll allow us to have a little bit more room. We do have to get some kind of a grump... Grump strand, A grump strand, A grump grinder. A stump grinder. Um to utilize it. But that's alright. We can probably find something. Even though they are kind of expensive, we probably can find something. So let's, um, let's speed up time here, because it wasn't perfectly timed like I thought I was hoping for. That should move it up there pretty quickly. 30, I was about right. 34,000. So, let's look at the map. Is there anything... For like 40-ish grand. That's what we need. We need 40 grand somewhere. 67, 61, 42. So that one's potential. 15 is a potential. I think that's going to be the only one that I can see, at least right now. Well, I guess 44 up here. 35,000. We could absolutely get 44. What is 44? Is that soybeans? Looks like soybeans to me. But really, you want one that's ready to harvest, right? Is that sunflowers? Ten is sunflowers, isn't it? Let's go look. Let's go have a drive. I haven't turned my beacon on all day today. I don't know what I've been doing. That is 100% sunflowers. So I can see it from here. So that's not going to work. We have to buy a new header for sunflowers. I mean, we could get one, but... Um, so that one could work. Let's go drive up to field 44. I've never... We've never really gone up there. They're, they're kind of in an awkward spot. I don't see any main road. Um, it's all going to be like side roads. Right? So let's, uh, let's drive up there. Let's drive up there and see. They really haven't fixed that corner yet. They're still working on that corner. Been there for days. Months. Let's pull the map up so I can actually see what I'm doing here. 40. 44. 40, 44. I don't know why they don't have that all lined properly. Why well, you would think they would have lined that properly, but I guess it's it's probably an automated thing that Giants has to make it into you know, a field that can be bought. And it just automatically assigns numbers to it. Yeah, we've just got like a little side entrance here. Okay. It is a far drive, so... If we were to buy this, the problem I see... And, and immediately... Everything else is probably fine, but the problem I see immediately here... Is... To get the drill up here, we would be driving through a ton of traffic. Unless we upgrade the drill. Right? That's the other thing we have to think about doing. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, we probably should have used that already. I don't know if we could or not, but we probably should have. Um, 
So if we want to do a new drill, um, I don't think there's going to be one. I don't think there's going to be one we can pull that's um, a direct drill, I should say. And certainly not one that's going to give us that kind of width. It would be a much smaller one if we got one. So yeah, um, as much as I think that's a good idea as far as money goes for us, I just don't see any... I mean, I guess we can do it, but... How much is that? 88? Yeah, n none of this is going to work, unfortunately, like I want to. Because even if we sold it, right, if we sold our soybeans, let's let's think this through. We sell our soybeans, 5662. I guess we have to sell them no matter what now, now that we know that uh, we're going to have to skip a couple months. Because um, all of our fields, right, they're not going to be ready for a while, uh, a long while. This one's going to be the closest one to being ready for us. Uh, this grass field will probably be able to be mowed in the next episode. Well, next month. Um, realistically, you probably want to leave, wait one more month on it. So, uh, none of these are going to be ready for a while. So, I guess we know what that means. We're going to go sell the soybeans and see what we get. So, I think we actually might be able to buy one. I, I think I'm way off on, on the amounts here. Um... I forgot how much soybeans are actually worth. I'm just so used to the other ones. So we might get way more here than I'm expecting. Um, our gator really needs to take a bath, man. Look how dirty it is. We don't have anything to spray it down with yet, though. We, we do that here maybe eventually, but... I think we're going to get more than I'm expecting here. I do. 6425... Oh, that's potato production. We don't want that. Um... Our selling rate is nearly as much as this, which is crazy, and it's still going up. So I think I'm going to do something a little crazy that I don't like to do. I've mentioned this many times. Let's, uh... Let's speed time up for a couple of hours and see what we get here. Since we're done for the day anyway, there's nothing else we can do today. Six, four, four, one... Getting better. We'll stop it at 1600-ish. Almost perfect. 16, f or 16, 6501. That's better than what the average price is. We're going to go sell it, and we'll see what we get. Um, I think it's going to be more more than I'm expecting. I, I think we're going to be almost to 60,000. I was thinking it was going to be more like 48,000, but I think we're going to be almost to 60,000. But I guess we'll find out here in just a second. I guess I should have went to the main road. Don't really need to take the side road to get here, but that's all right. I mean, this field here would also be nice. That's a big, massive grass field. We don't... We could turn it into something that's not grass, too. Um, but that would make a lot of money. That The silage from that would be immense. That would give us a grass field, and we could turn all the other fields... The other the one field that we were planning to do some productions with, and then the other really tiny grass field, we could turn those into smaller crop fields. Whatever we don't utilize as the production, we could turn that into a crop field. A small crop field, but a crop field nonetheless. Oh my gosh, we got 71000 We have $36,822 out of that. Well, we can buy pretty much anything we want now, gang. Pretty much any field we want. Well, <laughs> within reason. We're not going to be able to buy the big massive fields, and really, I don't think the big massive fields are something we want. Um, what is this? Is this potatoes? Red beets. That ain't, that ain't what we want. But we could buy a lot of these fields. We can't buy those. Clearly. Hmm. That field over there is ready. That's a potential for us. 
That's a pretty big field. Let me pull off to the side here. Let's let's walk over here. Let's take a look at this field. Because that is a large, large field. Let's see what the yield is for it and all that good stuff. Soybeans, 98%. I mean, they're ready to harvest now. And we know next month is the best time to sell them. 64000 That still gives us $71,000. We own it, gang. We own it. We did it. We bought it. The last thing we're going to do today, we're going to repay $5,000 of our loan. It leaves us with $2,724. So with that, gang, we will leave the episode there. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe if you're new. It's free. It helps me a ton. If you have any thoughts, questions, comments, or ideas, please feel free to let me know down below. I'm happy to get back to you on any of those. I um, apologize if for whatever reason I don't get back to you for a couple of days. Um, I'm probably at the time that you're watching this, I'm probably at a work conference. Uh, I will not have access to my phone. So, or well, my home PC obviously is not coming with me, but I won't have access to my phone, which is how I'll probably have to be able to reply to most of you. But, um, but with all that said, thank you so much once again. I really, truly appreciate you. Every so, every single ep comment and like means the world to me. Uh, subscribe to my other channels. Links are down below in the description. And until next time, I will see each and every single one of you in the next episode. The balloons are back!